let's look at Chapter 6 of our Over the Years series, Building the Legacy Collection. To understand what's been going on at ThinkTech Hawaii, you can look at the press release we issued on March 31st, or you can listen to Catherine Cruz's interview of Jay Fidel on Hawaii Public Radio. Links to both are on thinktechhawaii.com. They will tell you that for the lack of funding sufficient to cover our costs, we are cutting back on our production schedule and transitioning to a legacy archive program to make our videos available to the community on a long-term basis. Our website, thinktechhawaii.com, is the main portal to the legacy collection, and we've made a number of changes to it to facilitate access to that collection. The video player on the homepage now shuffles our best shows over the past few years, with a powerful search function to find the ones you want. The top menu has a sharing our legacy explanation and links to a variety of new YouTube playlists that include videos from before 2016, and then year by year through and after 2023, which also have search and shuffle functions to enable you to enjoy the ones you want. The menu also takes you to our ThinkTech family pages, listing the people who have participated in our shows and supported our efforts over the years. They include lists of our shows, our hosts, our guests, our staff, our donors, our directors, our underwriters, and our grantors. They demonstrate that an enormous number of people have been involved in our citizen journalism over those years. There are a number of retrospective chapters under the history menu. See especially the chapters on the retrospection itself and on the development of the archive collection. You can also check out the testimonials menu for some heartwarming comments we received after we announced the transition. And you can take a look at some memorable photos on our memories page. But our contribution to the public conversation doesn't stop with that. We are still producing talk shows to be uploaded into the Legacy Collection, although not as many as before. We will also continue to produce commentaries to keep up with current issues, events, and sea changes. These will appear on our homepage and on our ThinkTech Forward playlist. We've added a contact page for you to give us ideas for new shows and commentaries. And we've improved our guides to help you when you want to participate in the production of new shows going forward. There's more. We've redesigned a number of other things for the transition to legacy. For example, we've redesigned the opening and closing bumpers on our talk show videos in order to brand them as part of our new legacy program. We've redesigned the format of our ThinkTech email advisories. And we've designed some new ThinkTech legacy t-shirts. You can get them on the outreach menu and on bonfire.com. We hope you'll like all these changes. As Updated over the decades and closing tech talk is all about innovation, so we've we will redesigned the email thinking advisory. of other changes Hope to make like these it. productions better, easier, New think tech and more legacy automated. T-shirts now offered. We welcome your continuing viewership and your comments and ideas. We also welcome your donations to help us pay the costs of the transition. Likewise, if you have any feedback, please let us know. You can use the contact page in the About menu. This chapter of our Over the Years series, Building the Legacy Collection, is dedicated to Carol Mon Lee, Michael Pongalinen, Haley Ikeda, and Maria Sabio, who had been of invaluable help in organizing our transition. Stay tuned for our next Over the Years video, The Collection Evolves. Thanks for watching. Aloha.